Welcome back, everybody. Man, what a community event. Oasis will never be the same. I'm glad everyone tuned in. Um, anyway, what, Max, who are you playing and what is Lucian's last name? Uh, I, am, I play Lucian and his last name is Hunter. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> Hunter, fuck also. it. That's a terrible last name. Hunter's a real name. Lucian Hunter. Lucius. It just feels bad. Oh. Ugh. Um. Oh, real question. Uh, if there was one thing that you hoped survived the attack of Oasis by the Stone Thief, what is it? The people. Okay. Okay. And that's how you do it. Drop the mic. <laughs> that's how you do it. Okay, pal. Hey, how's it going? I'm Leon Lawrence. And I'm Fernando. <laughs> and, uh, well, Leon's last name is Lawrence. Real shocker there. Uh, as for things that you would like to keep active? Yeah. Uh, the organ. The organ has to stay. Okay. No matter what. Okay. The haunted cursed organ that keeps the poor uh, mayor up at night? Yes. Oh. The mayor may suffer, but it has plenty of ambiance to the place. <laughs> Did the place need ambiance? Yes. Okay. All right. All right. Ellen? I'm Ellen. I play Dame Kiri Jade Spine. Uh, Dame Kiri's last name is Jade Spine. What? <laughs> I know. It's... The lore! I know. Um, and then, uh, I think, after the people, the dame's greatest priority is probably the shiny new opera house that they built. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Ella and I were talking about, like, oh, what happens after, you know, after, like, after Oasis? If you guys, like keep these buildings safe and defeat the stone thief you're gonna end up with this fake city that was built hastily with absolutely no regard to construction codes its only goal is to look as fancy as possible but they've cut every corner safety and structural wise mm. yeah i do have a question does the stone thief like is it the more constructionally sound a building they eat, like, is that more delicious to them? Like, seasoning? Okay, so, like, if you have a hamburger, and you take a bite into it, and you find out the, the, the inside of the hamburger is sawdust, you couldn't see that. But that you don't like that. That's not as good for you. I thought you were going to say, like, the tomato or something flops out because it's not structurally sound burger. That's also where I thought that was going. You take a bite into it, and the whole burger just falls into your lap. That does not There's prevent ketchup it and from mustard being a all good over burger. Your shirt. Yeah, it could still be good, but the experience just isn't the same. You've had a this bad. Is the time. questions we need to ask. And then, and then the tomato went into your stomach and started stabbing you. No good. That's when you forget to take the toothpick out. When you forget to take the toothpick out, yeah, I always wondered the why they put those in the in my burgers. And now I know. I am the stone thief, and the toothpick is my party trying to slay me. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I don't anticipate Oasis still standing after more than ten years because it wasn't designed to stand for more than a few months. But I'm it, not convinced. No, that's I'm not convinced that's different from most of the architecture in this world. Touche, <laughs> sir. Oasis standing depends entirely on the services provided within it. If it's valuable enough, it'll keep going. Yeah, it's it, it's a service city. You know, it, there's just a lot of great things to serve here in the middle of the red waste.
Oh, right. We're just waiting on Rumham to come back in. Because last time you guys left off, um, you had gotten near the bottom of the uh, Maddening Stair and met a nice old cultist who uh, helpfully explained all of the history of the cult. Um, he stepped away, eavesdropped on you guys as you discussed if you should kill him, and then ran to the side of his giant white construct buddy. Um, so that's you know, where the next destination. Uh, funny how, you know, talking openly about murdering someone who has been nothing but a nice fucking host to us turns out bad for us. I think he was gone either way. It's the principle of the matter, Lucian. <laughs> Uh, do you guys have any questions about the history of the cult? Mm. How many branches are there? They don't know, but less than when you started this campaign, because you've taken care of a bunch of them. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, uh, I don't have anything lingering, really. So this guy orders around the Colossus thing? No. The Colossus has been there since really early when the Stone Thief like ate the um, first hideout of the cultist and can tell if you are affiliated with the cult. Gotcha. In fact, let me read this description here. Uh, he looks into the souls of those who come near it, searching for the taint left by the initiation oath. And when we talked about the oath, there's like no way of pretending, right? No, no. I mean, you could try, but you don't think that's going to work. Okay. What if you don't have a soul? Are you invisible to him? Uh, he perceives the world through a combination of spiritual awareness and the telluric vibrations of the living stone of the dungeon. Uh, so if you don't have a soul, you could try sneaking. Kalia, get in there. Pretty sure she does have a soul. She's just been trying to yeah. get rid of it. Uh, Kalia definitely has a soul. It was, uh, supposed to just be, a. Uh flat burn, but you guys definitely thought that, <laughs> that she might not. <laughs> At one point, you know, maybe, but now I think, you know, she's earned the right to keep her soul. Alright, alright. What if we you? had a... Who are you playing? And how do you feel about Lucian's last name being Hunter? What about Lucian? His last name's Hunter. Since when? Since just this session, we asked him. I I hate that. I, I definitely hate <laughs> right? that part. Um, Talia has a um, a little bit of a caffeine dehydration headache and a little bit of a tummy ache. Um, so she uh she she may be a little quiet this session. Uh, but she's also a cleric and a shield bearer, and she's pretty bad at it. And I'm Rumham. And I also have a caffeine dehydration headache and a little bit of a tummy ache. <laughs> what a coincidence. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What a coincidence. Um, what does Kalia hope survived the attack on Oasis? Everyone in the party? Yeah. That's the, the right minimum? answer. <laughs> the party's in the Stone Thief. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I think uh, just in general... Um, the party surviving is top priority. Everything else is kind of just like, eh, what happens, happens. All right, all right. Well, I'm I... not think... really attached to anybody in Oasis, so... She wasn't the one that adopted a bunch of orphans, apparently. We're gonna bring you guys then to the bridge. Um, you have just finished climbing down the last ladder. Um... And there is hiding behind, not in front of, behind 
the Sentinel is the guy, the half elf. Um, this Sentinel is a massive white marble gold trim um, and has already focused on you guys. His eyes are straight on you. So let's enter initiative. Man, I hate fighting the Sentinel and Aram. You know, it's true. It's true. So, so, I mean, if we had chosen to, like, I don't know, oils or health or whatever before this, could we do it now? Um, you have all magic items, so there's nothing left to oil. Um, you had a chance to do all of your healing at the end of the last session, but if there's a last second thing that you want to do, I guess, feel Is that bar so small? <laughs> now that now that's an accurate health bar when I play them. <laughs> right, so uh Lucian. Yeah, Lucian's your turn. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Lucian, go AP. Lucian, go AP. Yeah. Lucian, push mid. Definitely not AP. Yeah, this is the anti-magic gargoyle. Don't you know that? I mean, I do. I don't think we're on the this. All right. This is where we get to find out the really fun point of this fight. Your arrows harmlessly plunk off of the sentinel. Oh, okay, man. 50 damage. Got it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I need to roll this. I don't know why I bother rolling it. Mm. How sturdy is this bridge? Um, well supported. We need to cross this bridge anyway. Alright. I'll go ahead and stand over oh, hey, we're supposed here. to roll icons here. Yes, please roll icon initiative. Oh, great roll, great roll. Yeah, Lucian's just loaded. Wait, if oh, I didn't use my which... icon relationships from last time, do I have them still? No. Nope. I oh, actually no! am I had it. two sixes! Smoke them if you got them! That's the rule! <laughs> well, the next time we have a full heal up, I have a house. I have a alternate option that I want to present you guys, but that was not the time. Alright, I think that's my turn. Alright, it is now Megalore's turn. He sneers, confident that his giant construct is going to keep him safe. You should have taken the initiation rites. Um, he reaches out a hand towards Lucian. Let's see how that does. Uh, that is a hit. Lucian starts getting visions of the past of the Cult of Devourers. He is now currently helpless. What does helpless mean? Helpless means when we find the journal entry, I'll show you that which one of these is journals. I there we go. You take a you you can't take any actions, you take a minus four penalty in all defenses, and someone can coup de gras you. What? Yep. We'll get back to that. Later. And then, uh, what happens when? I mean, do I have to roll at the end of a turn to get rid of it? Yes, you'll have a chance each round in order to escape the visions. So that's all I can do, really. Right. <laughs> <coughs> 
All right. The giant sentinel starts stomping forth, leaving clouds of dust with every step. Its eyes look out over the party and starts indiscriminately burning eye beams across the front. Dude, I wish you this dude. Kalia hides behind her shield, but Leanne is caught with a massive bright eating gaze and her clothing starts on fire. Ow. Uh, could I half that? You're not next to her. What? That's not close enough? Nope. Uh, that's... <laughs> Terminating non-pilgrims. Bzz, bzz, bzz. It is now the dame's turn. Okay. Um, I think we should definitely try to kill that other guy. Unless you have, like, really strong spells. Well, the thing is, spells go against MD. Not AC. Uh, so that'll still get through to him? It might, because that'll be a different... Let's read... Wait. I'm trying to read it. It's an... Any as long damage. as it's not staggered. Any damage Wait. has to be 50. Any damage. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. That's the deal. All right. Um, Like, I can do that, but yeah, I think I'll... targeting Maglor is probably better right now, so I'll battle chant him. As a miss, as he throws up a shimmery magic protection of would anyone like to move? I have to save ends. <laughs> I can't do that. Anybody can, somebody can I move? I would like to move. I was... Okay, because otherwise I can give uh, the next person to attack Maglory plus two. Oh. Uh, I won't move if anybody wants the plus two. But if I move in front of you, Dane, I can block you. True. Well, I can move behind you too. Like, I mean, I'm more of a physical combatant. Okay, fine. Take the move, and then that'll be my turn. Then. All right, Kelly. Um, I will pop my halo um and then I will give Leanne a, a, a heal okay um you still have a standard action then? uh yes um we said spells should hit him right because nope. it's MD if, I mean it's more likely to hit but it has to deal 50 or more damage it has to do, yeah how much Hang on, what's your roll on your spear again? Uh, 60-10. Go for it. You're pretty likely to hit him with the javelin. Um, I do also have... I'm assuming he does not have 100 health or fewer. He does not. <laughs> Damn it. Um... That would be funny, though. <laughs> can you imagine You can he... only... You can only one shot this guy. Yeah. <laughs> one shot only. Uh, uh, and nobody is gonna do melee damage yet, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. <coughs> Ooh. No. Okay. I'll. I'll just. I'll just stop him. I'll. I'll wait. Um. We can't hit hit around him, right? Like, he's tall enough to block us from hitting Megalore? No, you can, you can aim for Megalore. Megalore if you want, but you have the best odds of piercing uh, okay. the Sentinel first. Got it. Oh my god, this is too big. Too big, too big, too big. Please go smaller. I didn't know this is what you said in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> I quit. I quit this game. I hope this doesn't hit. I quit. 
damn. Sorry, Kalia. That damage. is just shy. Oh, no, wait. you dumb bitch. He's undamaged. <laughs> Damage target plus 13. All right. You pierce past the damage barrier and a chip of stone falls off. Cool. Uh, and that's our turn. All right. All right, Leanne. Just yeah. massive golems in front of you, and there's. That boy in the back, and Lucian's just over there, just kind of like drooling. Sorry, Lucian Hunter. Yeah, I'm just gonna, just gonna weigh the odds. I think for now. All right, Lucian, it is now your turn. You So I can do nothing. You are currently inside a memory. It's not your memory. It's a memory of the cult passed down by the masters, or at least it's being presented that way. It's hard to know the truth. But you are standing in heavy chains before the emperor and archmage of, a pre of one of the first ages. Um, there is a portal that your people are being forced through at uh, with heavy armed men, uh, all pointing weaponry. Those who try to resist oftentimes are getting slashed through and fall to the ground, their blood pooling. You must make a skill check in order to get to the portal, dragging these heavy chains. All right, so a strength skill check. That's acceptable. Can I use a Great Ghoul 5 to make it an easy? Great Ghoul 5 will make it a success on a 25 instead of 30. I shall use it. And can I use background? Yes. All right. Oh, oh there you go. Um, hating these chains, you drag them towards the portal, then reemerge. You are back in the present day. Is that my standard then? Yes, you can or still do can a. I... Well, actually, let me double check. Uh, it just says you do a skill check. It doesn't say what that is. So. You normally do save end effect at the end of your turn. So I'm gonna say, yeah, that's your turn. But you are now back out of it. And moreover, you gain protection against these visions again. Uh, Megalore is frustrated that you so easily snuck broke out. He is moving behind the uh, sentinel, um, taking cover, and he's uh, and he shouts out, "You may have escaped that vision, but your icons will not help you here, Ranger." Um, he fires out. No, oh, something that missed. Don't worry. The sentinel stands proud and fires a nut, uh, into the back line now. Both the Dame and Leanne are hit for 50 more fire damage. Now, Kelly, you're free to have it. Uh, yes. Uh, I'll, yeah, I'll take the damage and half it. Uh, it's Sorry. it's just one time fire damage, right? It's not continual. Correct. Although Leanne has. Oh um... uh, yeah, I forgot about that. I never rolled for it. Mm -hmm. Only the yes. righteous can pass. Wait. So if she thing. halves it, do we both take twenty five? I can only do it for one person. So the one person I pick takes no damage, and I only take half damage. Gotcha. So out of either of you, I don't know who needs it more, but. Um, one of you will get hit, and the other one will not. 
mean, that still leaves me with 79 if I take it. If I take it, I'll be, uh, I'll definitely be lower. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, right. Dane. Nope, that's all right. All right, it's your turn. So it's a normal save for the fire battle, right? Okay. Correct. Um. Okay. Oh. <laughs> you pat it out. Oh. Wait, oh, do we get to roll for the... No, no. that was for... Something yeah, I forgot to do. Okay, okay. Alright, um... So I take, what is it, a minus... Like, to hit, try and hit Maglor, do I take... It's gonna be a minus take... two. Okay. Or I can try sound bursting him. Um... I kind of wanted to sit on it, but I think Soundburst might be able to get both of them. No matter your decision, I will support it. Alright, yeah. Unless we'll go, you roll whoop. a one. Yeah. Alright, we're going to go ahead and try and Soundburst, and why is it not letting me multi-target? There we go. And then, and, oh man. That is such crap. <laughs> oh, that is unfortunate. As you fire out the sound burst, the majestic wings of the Sentinel flap and break the sound burst apart. But what if? I get to reroll. Yes. Oh. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it's slightly me? worse. <laughs> uh, well, you know, you can't say I didn't try. No, you tried. I also, as a note, um, even if uh, you would have done a new attack, but not a new amount of targets. Yeah, I just wanted to actually yeah. get the damage on well, the Well, the sentinel. easiest thing to do was to just hit to roll again. Yeah. No, no, I understand. I'm just, just clarifying. Yeah. Even uh, as Leanne tries to shout out, joining her voice in the wind clap of air just rushes and takes them out of her mouth so frustrating Callie it's now your turn again that was fast um, no wonder Kit does I have one more Claire Keel that I can use as a quick action for this fight does someone want it If nobody wants it, I might take it because if I get hit again, I'll get staggered. I mean, yeah, go for it. Uh, wait, Dame, how are you at half? She's staggered. Oh, she's staggered. Okay, never mind. Dame, have it. It doesn't matter if you guys are staggered. You want the boss to be staggered. Yes, but if we're staggered, it's easier to hit us, right? No, staggered only matters for certain effects. Ooh. But it is a handy marker of, you know. Back up. Yeah. Uh, okay. I will, I will wait on that then. Uh, I will try another javelin. Damn. Oh, just shy. Man, I didn't think the 50 damage threshold would If I be. use a 6... Can you get three I don't, more damage? I don't want to waste the six for three more damage. Well, well, actually, why not be... argue to apply the seven damage against the undamaged target? It's not three more damage. It's the difference between zero damage 50, and 50 yeah. damage. Yeah. Uh, I guess that's I true. Yeah, can I use my six to apply my uh, undamaged? Uh, the God of Fertility. My dad. Oh, your dad. Your dad makes the Alvester Sentinel almost, like brand new again, just with a little bit of prayer, which means it's technically undamaged for the purposes of your spell, which means you sl your javelin slams into it. A 47 plus 7. It cries out in pain and annoyance. It is now Leanne's turn, unless you want to move. Uh, no, I'm good. Do I do something stupid? Like run up and try to hit it? 
Precisely. Stupid is as stupid does. I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah. Da -da -da -da. You charge da -da -da. across the bridge towards this massive towering creature. Da -da -da. There's no way I can fail. You lash out with your sword cane and it fail. bounces off of its shit. Can't say I don't try. Also, you will gain command points on the hit, even if it does no damage. Unfortunately, it did not hit. <laughs> but I am glad to note it. Lucian, it is now your turn. Alright. I think it's gonna take my big bow to pierce this guy. No doubles. Oh my god. Gonna not move. Do I get a bonus for not being far away in using this? Nope. Okay. Come on! Big damage. Yes! Oh! Your arrow pierces through. Leaving a, a crack in the outer facade. Megalor is upset and angry. Let's see here. Kalia's been been able to hit it twice, so he's going to try to take out Kalia. You're lucky, Leanne. Kalia, you are now helpless as you are beset by it vision. Could have been a coupe de gras. Oh <laughs> no! Oh my gosh! Yeah, if he was martyr, he would have done that to Leanne, and then just Leanne would have been a coupe de gras. That's a Leanne is about to get some crushing fists slamming into her. I think it's a double attack. Did not know it was double. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Leanne so. gets dodges one fist, but is slammed for sixty damage by the second as the construct cries out, "None shall pass. Only the worthy." Bam! 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 All right, Dame. Alrighty. Um. I'm gonna go ahead and take that minus two and try and hit Maglor. I'm rolling bad anyway, so I can't really imagine that I would have hit him even without the minus two. That is a hit for 45 thunder damage. Good call. You're just under he the. Cries out in pain. Thank you, thank you. Let's see. Hang on. Uh, save ends. Don't think it to the visions. Doesn't it? It's not technically a save No, but, but then Leanne, the... aren't don't you have the helpless? No. No, Kelly ah. does, but uh I thought that like if you don't have a turn afterwards that it is a save ends. Well I I, I, I said because save ends effects happened at the end and the book doesn't provide guidance, that's where I slotted it. Could I alternately... You know, um, you don't get enough use out of this anyway. I'm going to say it's... Not, although it's not a save sentence, because you're not rolling that roll. You're getting well, a skill check. I'm going to say you can use it for this. Well, okay, because the other thing I was going to offer was on the argument that she's disengaging from the dream, can I give her a plus two bonus using move it? You know, sure. Plus two bonus. <laughs> so is that a plus two bonus on the save? Uh, well, when you do your skill check, you'll get the plus two bonus. Okay. Uh, is that Can your turn, Ben, Dame? Do it now. Yep. Kalia, it is your turn. You are a pilgrim. You've been forced through the portal by the evil emperor and archmage, and you and your so some of your group are wandering through a distant jungle that you've been exiled to. Much, you only have half the members in the, your group as when you started. You've fallen prey to a manner of large beasts that have hunted you in the night, and your torches are slowly burning out. How do you lead your group to safety? Um, 
Uh, in this vision, am I wearing like all of my own armor and stuff, or? Nope, I'm you are not. a cult no. of the devoured cult, like cultist. You're wearing circle um, robes and no weaponry. I will try. Maybe do like a, a summoning circle or a prayer circle to call on um, our connection to the the devourer you religiously. That hasn't happened yet in this time in this part of the story. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Just die. Walk well, off a cliff. You just die. You fail the check. No. Nah. Uh. We will hunker down and wait until morning. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and give me, let's see, that sounds like a wisdom check. And you get the plus two. Oh, thank God. Jump bear. He probably spilled his water on himself again. That is a success. Oh. You snap out of it. Is now the answer. Okay. Yeah. All right, listen to my <laughs> Leanne comes running back. Her uh, her arm is dislocated. She has been pummeled. Hopping the arm back into its socket and chugging a potion. Oh. It hits hard. <coughs> Alright, is that your turn? Mm, let me double check. Make sure that. Hang on. What type of action is this one? Yeah. All right. All right, Lucian, it's your turn. All right, and actually, quick shot, quick shot, quiver goes into effect. I'd like to use a priestess six, since it's a priestess bow, to be able to instead of a regular, use my long charge. You can't just basically. claim it's a priestess bow. All right, we got it before the okay. priestess even existed. Okay. Okay. These really just but can I use the six to have it be a regular for the long range attack? Uh, oh, for the quick shot quiver? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's acceptable. Alrighty. Oh my god. You call upon the priestess and Maglor waves his hand in your connection to the priestess is momentarily cut off. I would like to actually use archery. <laughs> well, except it's not enough. The connection breaks through and does 65 damage as a chunk of wing falls off. Please tell me he's staggered. No, no not yet. Okay. Well, then I'm doing the same thing again as my standard action. Okay. Yes. Oh, that's going to be a hit. It takes oh. a knee and its shimmer cuts off. And as it does, the shimmer breaks apart into different humanoid looking figures. These are the ghosts of pilgrims that have been protecting it. And they have now joined the fray. Da, da. Okay. I'd like to body block for Leanne. Thanks. In fact, now their turn. They come swarming in, screaming about vengeance and recompense. There, calm down. I'll give you 20 platinum. Is that enough? It will never be enough. All right, Lucian gets two attacks. The 
The second is a hit, and for every positive relationship die you have with the Emperor, Archmage, Priestess, Dwarf King, or Elf Queen, it does an additional five damage. Uh, you have Lucian four with the Priestess, so you take an extra 20 damage. Oh my god. Lan gets one attack. Okay. Uh, what? Let's see. You have um, four with the em five with the emperor. Four. I can count. Four. So twenty. There's literally a number. There is literally a number. I, I'm, I'm good. Kalia is hit twice. Uh -oh. oh, Kalia! How? Oh, oh no. Wait, is that with um, Halo too? Uh, her halo is automatically calculated. Oh. And now it's gone. Um, the Kalia, you have one, two. Oh, Kalia, somehow you only have two, so you take ten extra damage on each hit. Uh, so I took sixty damage total, twenty, twenty, and then two yep. tens. And the dame is able to dodge out of the way. Good. Magler cries out, "Good, good." Your relationships with these evil icons shall be your downfall. And he uh, targets the next person who's been annoying to him, which is Lehan. Actually, I... no, the dame just hit him, so he's going to target the dame. I've done nothing to him, okay? Dame, you are now helpless. Good. Even if I would prefer he would target me with that. Executing hostiles. Actually, I have a strong mental defense. Liam, no! That is literally exactly what I'd be doing. Let me just. Uh, hang on. Callie, how hang many on. times can you bodyguard? Hang on, I have an idea. Uh. Hang on, I have an idea. Okay. Uh, so my bodyguard is. An... Can you let me make my argument real quick here? I want to create my curse of chaos because the first roll was a four. Yep. Which makes it a one. Yep. Now, hear me out. Uh, I don't have access to the SAS effects to double check them. Okay. Uh, which one's the one that reduces, like, gives them an attack penalty? Uh, is it Dazed? Yes. Dazed gives minus four penalty to attack. Yeah. Uh, I want to argue that the first attack, their eye beam reflects off of Kalia's shield into their own eye, which dazes the sentinel. All right. Normally, the Sentinel is immune to being dazed, but for the purposes of Curse of Chaos, I'll let this work for the second attack, which makes it a mess. Thank you. Miscalculation. Pzz, ah, pzz, ah. Dame is now your turn. Uh, you're helpless, you're in a dream. Um, hey. You are a proud architect. You have built the first citadel of the cult, and you're looking proudly over your work. Tell us about some of the architectural features you've incorporated into this grand citadel in the middle of nowhere. Um, well, obviously, for a grand citadel, it's got to be extra tall because you want to make sure that it's really a landmark for the area. Um, so most of the uh, the really incredible engineering work was actually done on the scaffolding to build the place, um, which has now been dismantled. But it still doesn't diminish from the, uh, from the effect of these soaring uh, pillars and minarets, and there's all kinds of buttresses. Got real excited about the buttresses, honestly, <laughs> but maybe a little too excited. But the effect is just incredible. It is with great dismay, then, that you see the tallest of the towers is leaning sideways, and increasingly more so. 
In fact, the whole place is starting to sink into the ground as this earthquake is spreading cracks along. The, the stone thief has been drawn to the citadel and, and your castle is going down. You're going to have to make some dexterity checks to avoid the falling boulders. Okay. That is unfortunately a failure. Although you dodged the first few, your care, the, your poor architects, all the dreams of buildings that he might build in the future, his head is caved in by the very buttress he was so admiring. And you are still helpless for the next round. Great. All right, Kalu. Um, uh, I can't heal. Well, you do have a standard rally. Yeah, no, I mean, I can't heal, like, as a quick action. Which sucks. Uh, <clears throughs> does <clears throat> the... Just saying. Just I have a necklace here. Yes. Um, but I also have some other stuff that could apply to everyone else. Yeah, um, but there's spells. You're engaged. Yeah, you have to use a close quarter spell. This one is a close quarter spell. Uh, speaking of, yeah. there should be a lot of burn damage. Oh, yeah. You got uh, hit for 10 ongoing, I believe. Wait, Sorry, me? You <laughs> Do wait. you not remember the things you give other no, people? No, yeah. I oh. burned the other people. Uh, yeah. I got burned? When did I get no, burned? No, you didn't get burned. You have a... You should have done 10, your lava mail does 10 fire damage to all the ghosts who engaged with you. Yeah. I was gonna say, I don't remember getting burned. Um, if I... Are these mucks? They are. Oh! Uh, do they... Are they weak to holy damage? They are. <gasps> okay, uh, I'm gonna do the Sphere of Radiance. It's a close quarter spell. Okay. Uh, and I can do two of the closest, uh, two of my closest enemies. Uh, and then me or one nearby ally can heal using a free recovery. I see you only targeted one enemy despite saying you could do two. I mean, I can't. Can you target it's the same enemy type? The same time? <laughs> you yes. can. Oh, how do you do that? Shift while holding T. Well, okay, key. well, um, I'm. I was uh, trying to target detached pilgrim shade and aggravated pilgrim shade. It's agreed. Okay, we're just going to go ahead. Normally, like, well, it's fine. We're going to use that attack for both of them. You do thirty damage. Uh, at seventh level. At seventh level, so you do fifty-three damage. It is not a crit though, so we're going to apply fifty-three damage to this one. It's going to overflow to the next one by 18 as it evaporates away. The other one staggered. And then, which one did you say the second one was? The detached one. The oh, one well, there we go. Well, we're just going to do even more overflow then. 53. It has negative 36, which is enough to take out the one next to it as well. So three of them go ah as it holy light it makes from a galia and fades uh away. and then leanne can take the free recovery thank you this is this is only slightly less than the one when i chug the potion i hate potions all right is that your uh our po our, is taking a potion of standard action yes. or quick action standard oh that's lame Okay, that's my turn. Alright, Leanne. <sighs> uh, <coughs> I'm living. I'm gonna, yeah, good call. Actually, I'm gonna scoot up next to Callie and the Bane there, and I'm gonna just gonna just gonna clean up some ghosts, I think. Give it a good Ghostbusters. Oh, almost a 20. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Do, 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 do. You slash through the ghosts, 
taking out in one hit and doing overflow damage to the next. It's just a little bit of a nick. Well, I mean, if death walks with me, I should be effective at busting ghosts. Mm -hmm. That's all, folks. All right, Lucian, is now your turn. All right. Uh, there we go. One melee is going towards one of the ghosts, and the other melee is going towards the other. Okay. So it should get a plus one to the second one. Okay. Oh, my God. Holy shit. <laughs> what, what was that? Or was that damage before? You take I think out. It's escalation die four, probably. Yeah. You take out the remainder of the ghosts. So, is that, well, anything else you want on your turn? Uh. No. I'll move here. <laughs> Megalor is mad. He is done hiding. You guys have taken out the souls of his ancestors. You are defiling and destroying his guardian. He uh, comes forward and swirls a staff around and says, You will be undone by the very icons you ally with! And fires the ancient hatred out at each and every one of you. Wow. Doing doing great. Wow. Okay, actually, we got some good hits here. All right. Are you telling me he rolled the one against me? Yes. The person with the highest MB? Okay. <laughs> Look, that's why he rolled the one. All right, Lucian, Kalia, and Dane. Please take a note of your current icon relationships because it's, well, or you're going to have to manually roll because it's just going to replace your... But, for instance, Lucian, you have four priestess, so you'll roll 4d6 and count every five and six and then take 20 damage for each. Oh, okay. Alright, so I just have to remember that I have a five and a six? Or you can... Yeah. Alright, so you take 20 damage. Put back your uh, five and six. Does that... Oh, positive or conflicted. All right, Dame, you have the Dwarf King, the Elf Queen, and the Emperor. No, 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 the Elf Queen is a negative relationship, oh, so right. I only have to roll four. You only have to roll four. All right, you had two fives, so you take 40 damage. Okay. And Kalia, you have, again, surprisingly, only one that they care about, so roll 1d6. I... Hang on. Isn't Kelly a mission missing an icon die? Let's see, she currently has four. What do you mean? She I have five. Yeah. How did you end up with so few, Ramayan? What do you mean? Yeah, like, I thought you had the most icon relationships of anyone. I mean, she has the most icon relationships, but the least. Yeah, <laughs> but die. my points are across all of them. Yeah, but I have... you still have at least five points. I don't know. Is that something that changes when we level? Sometimes. Yes, I would yeah. hope you would look at the sheet. That's one of the. Oh. Things. Uh, well. I will. I'll double check and get back to you. Is that why I got never a roll? Anyway, but yeah, maybe you might want to check into that. Uh, <laughs> all right, Kelly, it's good. <laughs> the Sentinel, bereft of its protection, is going to storm in. Throwing large punches. Oh! oh, uh -oh. uh -oh. uh -oh. <gasps> Wait, hang on. I did roll twice. No, I did it roll twice. Wait, it rolled two twenties on the first one. That's the worst possible one for it to roll two twenties on. Well, got it by its ancestors. Both Kalia <laughs> and Lucian. I'm in danger. Take 120 damage as it critically smashes them into the ground. 
the rock cracking underneath. And then each of you choose to either take 80 more damage or be stunned. I shall be stunned. <laughs> Good. Uh, does stun have any effect on us getting revived? Uh, nope, you should definitely choose stunned or else you're actually dead. No, no, I, I understand that, but that was just a genuine question. Yes, I will also be stunned. I'm at negative 77. <laughs> you which... will die at negative 90. Yeah. I also said that's uh, that's very close to 150%. <laughs> uh, stunned is minus four penalty, can't take action. So it's like helpless, but you can't be coup de grad. So when we revive, will we still be stunned? Uh, yes. Okay. What do you mean? Well, it says we until the end of your next turn, so it's not even the save's end, so you, yeah, you will probably. Got it. Dang, you just saw Kalia go down with a massive uh, punch and Lucian Am is... I out of, am I out of oh, the dream? Oh, you're not. Oh, no. You are now in a new dream. Your hair, you are, have your legs clasped with giant irons. You are a cultist captured and then aged with a dark and tyrannical emperor who tortured his foes. How do you resist the cunning tortures of the Imperial Inquisitors trying to pry out the location of your friends and family? Uh, I'm going to repeat uh, one of the uh, one of the prayers over and over and over again and say nothing else. Uh, trusting in my faith to protect me. Alright, charisma. Okay. Ah, it's a success. You snap out of it. Okay. You wake up blinking from the vision to see Kalia on the ground bleeding out and Lucian holding his head and the wobbling on his feet. Um, can I use... Well, okay, I, that's what I was going to ask. Can I use a five to still get an action this turn? I'm trying to figure out what I want to offer as a complication. What kind of action do you want? I would love an attack on the Sentinel. Uh, you're going to need quite the complication. Yeah, I don't think I want to actually take on that complication. Um, can I drink a potion? That's a standard action. Okay. There's no, I don't have any quick actions that would actually be relevant. <sighs> Alright. Oh, wait. Yes. Um, it's not gonna do enough. <sighs> There's no tools or anything here, are there? You're probably just gonna have to wait for your next turn. Yeah, and people are gonna die. All right. Kalia, make a death save. I mean, we can't automatically die in one death save, right? Correct. Yeah, Maybe. I wouldn't. I wouldn't beat yourself up too much about it, Ellen. Uh, I don't think I've ever had to make a death save. It's just a oh, flat no, d20, no, no, right? No, the necklace wouldn't work here. Wait, hang on. No, revert back. Yeah, normally when it comes time around to this, Leanne does her thing where she just gives you a recovery while you're unconscious. Yeah, yeah I'm, that yeah, I'm doing that. So you don't uh, have to make okay. a death save. Uh, I get a recovery. <clears throat> you, however, chose to be stunned, so you can't... Why did you roll twice? I... That was an accident. Uh, <laughs> I would take, I'm taking the first one. Under 53 health, then. You're stunned. You have dropped your stun. Uh, it is now the end of your turn. Leanne? Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking... I thought about it. Oh boy.
Leanne pulls onto the power of, Bo of Gromar's Master of Blade. I assume you're picking the Sentinel? Yes. All right. Warn. Warn. Your first attack finds a little perk. Wait. Okay, when you hit. No. Are you really joking me? No, you were one off. <laughs> oh, no. You have an icon relationship? Wait, you have your moment. Yes. There's the trouble with that. Nearby allies. That I would let you address to yourself for an, with an icon relationship. Yeah, um, I have an Emperor Five. Sometimes you gotta do it yourself. All right. The complication is gonna be that when you roll to recharge the blade, you'll have to roll twice to take the roll. That's fine. All right. Your attack hits. Your attack hits, and the it takes out a massive chunk in the leg of the sentinel, and that glows and then explodes moments later for, with an extra 20 damage as you gain two command points. The sentinel cries out in pain. Heretics! Ah! Lucian, it's now your turn. Uh, you're stunned, actually, so it's the end of your turn. But you're no longer stuck. If he Yahoo, can I use a Priestess 6 to make a recovery or no? Mm, I'm going to say no. Wow. Oh. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm going to say yes. Yeah. That's called. Who needs to pray to the Priestess when Leanne's right there? <laughs> that is true. How many times have you rallied? Is this your first rally, Lucian? What do you mean, rally? First rally. Yeah, I think it's your first rally. Very good. Anyway, go ahead and use your recovery. And you cannot use a potion at the end of that. You yeah, you can't use a potion. Oh, I can't? Nope. Should I just re-roll? Or can you guys do the math? Um, I'll it, just I can Well, how much was the healing for? The healing was 58. Okay. Oh, and you got 52 anyway. And then I have to subtract there you six. Alright, L, if you got hit by the fires of hatred, so go ahead and do your icon relationship rolls. Um, taking 20 damage on a 5 and 6. Lucian, that's Wait, 40. Lucian, you roll 46. Uh, Leanne rolls 4d6, Kalia rolls 1d6, and Dane rolls 4d6. Leanne takes 20 damage, Lucian takes 40 damage, Kalia takes no damage, and the Dame takes 40 damage. I've never been so happy to have so many negative and conflicted relationships before. I am down. I'm at negative one. Distraught and pained with the betrayal of the Dwarf King that you feel against these enemies, you fall to the ground. Pain. The Sentinel is unrelenting, and its great fists come down again. Dodge, dodge, get out of dodge. Oh no. Oh, it's rolling low now. Oh no. What? Oh, How is a 33 not a hit against. No, the 33 is a hit against. Oh, the second one's against Lucian. Lucian God. avoids it, but Kalia, you have to take 60 damage, which puts you unconscious, and then choose if you want the 40 damage or to be stunned again. Uh, I will take the 40 damage, actually. Okay. 
The rock underneath you now has an imprint of your body. Name? Make a death save. All right. Uh, well, Captain. Da, ba, ba. My hands pulling this battle back together. <laughs> okay. Oh, so I just. That's just a recovery? Just a normal recovery, yes. Okay. You are back on your feet with 41 health. Nice! Thank you. And is that is that my turn, or do I get actions nope. after that? You get your full turn. Great. Okay, we're at escalation die five. Yeah. Um, I should drink a potion, but I really kind of want to arrow averse somebody. Um... I really want to arrow reverse somebody. Um, I want to get rid of the sentinel. Mm. That is a hit. This is a 7th level spell, so please roll me 10d10. Right, because for some reason that hasn't updated. And then you will add... Hey, by the way, I don't think the bonus damage is quite right. Yeah, something's up. It's using D6s instead. Give me a second. Um, since you took that feat, I was unaware you'd done that. Let me just re-script this whole thing. Okay, thank you. Alright, arrow on first. You're doing 10... Ten, and then escalation die is d12 instead of d6 oh my lord yeah. oh my. no i said i was originally i was saving that for the stone thief itself Same. all right go ahead and roll it well it is a hit i just need the damage yeah yeah no i know well this would have hit even more anyway 121 damage as the arrow flies through, leaving a massive hole in the center of his sentinel. You can see yeah. the uh, uh, magic heart at the center of it now. Striking it will crit on a 16 plus. Okay. Um... See, standard action for a potion. Uh, what's a is a just doing a normal recovery? Is that a quick or is that still a full? Still standard. Okay, all right, that's all I got then. Kalia, I think it's time for you to actually roll a death save. Wow, I never thought this day would come. Um, is it? It's just a flat d twenty, right? Uh, on your sheet, there's a death save button at the very top right. Uh... Oh. Oh. That's a fail. That's a fail. You have one step down in the grave. It's three, right? Three tries? Uh, four. Four failures. Oh. As, Le as Kalia is fading away, Leanne looks over, and there's a figure in a room. Watching. Alright, it's now Leanne's turn. Aim for the heart. Quick action swing. Oh. Oh. Oh! Dave! You s Hold on. That was... I assume you're aiming for the heart? Yeah. That's a crit? Tell us how you take down this creature. Uh... <coughs> Leanne leaps forward in a fury, clamber, like grips onto the crumbling debris of the sentinel itself, and plunges her blade directly into the center. It flashes down through until it comes out on the other end. It flashes with bright magic 
and then explodes and the creature comes tumbling down. You jump as it falls off the edge of the cliff down below. Magler cries out, no! No! Ages it has stood watch. And you shouldn't have used it against us. Yet another great travesty wrought by you and your icons. This has nothing to do with icons. Now, you did not move, and you still have a standard action. Yeah, I'm fully aware. You slash Megalore's hand clean off as he's pointing it at you. And he grabs the bleeding stump with his other hand, crying out in pain. You have one chance to surrender. Never. I advise no. you take it. No, I don't wish to accept his surrender. Lucian, it's now your turn. Hello, pulpit. You rip into his body, but he is still um, standing. Okay, never mind. Um, oh boy, thank you. I could have saved points, but I don't think I need to save them. As Leanne command, Leanne just looks at you and says, "Finish it," and he falls to the ground dead. And that's the end of combat. Time to lick some wounds. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Quick rest. Um, go ahead and quick rest. There's no way Kalia would fail before you guys got to him, got to her. Why are my potion recoveries dog dong? Uh, okay, quick rest. Yeah, I already failed the recharge on yeah. the sword. Um Callie, quick rest. Could yes. I use sorry. Uh, uh could I use an elf queen five to re-roll one of my recharges? I'm willing to take like a minus uh, a minus two on it. Sure. You burn a small bit of Elf Queen incest in order to try to regain it. No good. That's it. I needed a 16 plus, so it was a long shot. I could do it again if you want. I have another five. No, nope. but I figured you would call that fishing, yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking of the goofy meme. I'll do it again. Battered bruised, but still alive. What you do we start... have for recoveries, people? <laughs> I got one. <coughs> Me too. Uh, Callie, you probably want to use your one. Or one of your two. My what? You have plenty if you... You're going to get like your full HP out of whatever you roll. I'm sorry, I missed something. What happened? Are you going to use another recovery? Oh, uh, I mean, I can. I only have two more recoveries, so... I strongly recommend you wear your recoveries. I will use one more, and I'm not going to use any more. Right. <sighs> you 
you start hobbling towards the exit, the great door the guardian was um, guarding. And the submergence die is now six. The thief, unless you do something, is starting to leave. We gotta stick down some uh, some of the earth spheres. Earth spears. Time to, time to put down the spear. Uh, who's been carrying the spears? I thought all of us had one. I was never given a spear. I don't have it in my inventory. I don't know that we ever talked about it. Um, you guys have six earth spears total. I have one. I don't think we ever added them to our inventory. Okay. Okay. Um, to use them requires using a melee or ranged attack and hitting a target of 25. Okay, what happens if we don't hit that? The spear breaks. Oh! <laughs> Great! Um, if you hit, the submergent side decreases by one, pending the stone thief in place. Yeah, I should not deploy one. I don't think I can consistently hit a 25 on a melee or a ranged. Me and Lucian are our best bets for this. Lucian probably would be able to stick it in easier. Alright, Lucian, I need you to go ahead and make me a basic melee attack or range attack, your preference. Oh boy. It does use your um, weapon eye uh, bonuses. Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Lucian picks up one of these large earth spheres, finds a particularly like thin part of the dungeon wall, and with all his might, jabs it in, breaking through the stone into the white ethereal goo underneath that constitutes the stone thief. You feel a minor tremor, and the submergence dies back down to five. You now have five earth spears. Okay. What's stopping us from just using a few more? Do we want to do more? Uh, what a safety net be That's better? That's probably good. This is your final delve, as far as you know. Unless you plan on like, being in the thief as it um, escapes and continuing on, then your best bet is probably to go ahead and reduce the die as, uh, at least a bit. Uh, yeah, might as well. You guys want me to keep going? Um, I still think you have the best roll out of us. So. Yeah. I just need an 8 or higher. Another tremor as it warms around. Escalation die, sorry, submergence die is now 4. One more or we good? Do you think these earth spears will be useful later? I, I think two would be fine for now. We can always stab it in more before the, like the finale, if need be. Unless we don't have the chance to. I mean, you're the one with the spears. Do what you want with it. All right, do one more, just one more. Oh no! As you say that. You're a little cocky. Can I use a priest of six for an extra one point? Tell me what... It's like... It's not going through. What prayer do you give for this final oomph? Please, God, please. Don't Ka break. 
Bye I just, I see it cracking while I'm just trying to like continue to push it further into the rock and I'm just like, please. The spear crack. barely holds together enough to pierce through. Smart to the side, okay. now three. Our All spears right. in place, you guys transition on to the next level of the stone the pit of undigested ages. Okay. Have we not been here? Nope. No. Well, we have now. Walking into this area, you're struck by how different it is than any other level. I mean, each has its own feeling, but this is a place not of monsters or death or war or reconstitution but it seems to be almost like a museum there are beautiful buildings and statues and magic nodes all carefully preserved and placed aesthetically pleasing across and by each other okay it's like that browsing seems... the shelves of an eccentric, obsessive collector. That seems very strange for the stone thief. He's got his collector's book, you know? Yeah. If I were to be a betting lady, which I'm not, I would bet that this is where he would keep certain buildings that would help increase his power. Okay. Alright, we know that I'm apparently getting tired because my immediate thought was, okay, so smash and grab. <laughs> yes. Smash and grab the whole building. No, well, more to the point of, like, smashing it rather than the grabbing, but, okay. I don't actually think that that's a good idea. You could use earth spears on the more valuable-looking stuff. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's just vandalism. This is also the stuff that we want to be able to get a hold of after. Yeah. Smashing these buildings wouldn't be good in the long term for Oasis. Someone's going to have to manage reclaiming all that's within the Stone Thief, and these buildings are going to be high value. Um, the map has numbered points. These are things that stick out to you as places you might want to go explore. Um, you know you're on a time limit, however, um, so you certainly don't, can't take the time to explore every single one of these places. Um, okay, but what do the numbers mean? You tell me I want to go explore one, and I go to that page in the book, and I tell you what's there. Okay, but like... Can we get a general idea of what sure. these locations are? Uh, you sure can. Um, as you walk out of the great doorway, the crumbling walls all bear mysterious inscriptions. S strange and inhuman architecture forms ruins of great beauty that loom above the PCs. Uh, you are the only things moving in this vast, unexpected stillness and silence. Carved martial statues stare blindly as you pass by. Over at number one, there seems to be a large bot, uh, tree temple, but made of stone. Um, it re reminds you a lot, actually, of the being underneath the wild woods when you had encountered the uh, Hydruid's people in the Ziggurat. And you recall that he had mentioned some of his people had been stuck in the Stone Thief. Um, over at number two the library that lucian spent so much time in up in dungeon town and this is it this is it um it was only a small section of quillgate library and this seems to be the rest of it doubtless there is so much knowledge contained inside those doors if only you had the time to uh, explore them i'm just imagining the stone thief just like takes a bite out of the library like no that's the icky part i don't want that in my collection no not the poetry <laughs> but it made it to the collection 
Yeah, just not the icky part. Over here is a structure that seems like a jagged chunk of rock the size of a castle. It's as if the stone thief had swallowed a desert mesa and mistaken it for a building. Although dame, the dame can tell this is in fact a freestanding underground structure, a dungeon within a dungeon. I'm up, I'm, I'm gonna share that. I don't think we need to uh, delve into a second dungeon right now. No. There's a tower where desert stands still cling to the cracks in the mortar. Uh, it seems overshadowed by the other treasures in this level. Uh, it doesn't seem to seethe with magical energy, nor does it seem to be a beautiful thing. It's out of place among the rest. It's four, simply four stories tall, made of mud bricks. You're not sure why it's here. Okay, that's it's, intriguing. That's the one just I would check out, yeah. Just because it's, yeah. Something so value is in somewhere in it. Over is that... here is a giant pile of skulls. Human, dwarf, elf, orc, monster skulls, things, skulls of things uh, extinct in previous ages. Not an archaeologist. I so... don't. Wouldn't even know where to begin with that. And the rest are just don't stand out to you as places that you might would explore unless you had way more time than you do. Alright, so here's my thinking. We hit up four, which is on the pathway, and then we hit up one. One might have something of value, maybe even allies, who knows. That's kind of what I was thinking, except I was thinking four, see what, how we're doing on time. And then maybe swing by one. Yeah, pretty much. Four is on the way, so... Yeah. Agreed. Alright, so you're heading into four? Yep. Alright. You start walking through the quiet path. There seems to be old imperial roadway above you. Were you to climb up to it, Lucian would certainly get his bonus. <laughs> but there's no easy way up from where you are. Um, yeah, by the uh, underneath one of the overhangs of the Imperial Road, you find the skeletal remains of another trespasser in the dungeon. Little scraps of silver thread left in the decayed robe suggest they're the bones of a wizard. Um, you see a weathered but well-preserved diary sitting next to the corpse and gingerly pulling it um you can see the entries of a wizard who was trapped in an underground cave full of wonders of the old ages and he didn't even he did not recognize most of them and he was trying to jot notes of what ages he thought they might be from uh, he notes that the Quillgate Library he recognizes, but he couldn't get into as it was guarded by some sort of um, undead uh, beast. Hmm. No, I can think of one wizard that could identify when these come from, the ages of. Can? Yeah. But that's for after we kill it. Um, someone who is good at magic, give me a wisdom check. I mean... That is I'm the not. opposite of me. I'm not very wise, but I can give it a go. I, I have a, I have a, uh, plus three in wisdom, I think. Kelly yeah. is the most magical of us. I mean, I don't think I'm more magical than Dane, but I think I might have a higher wisdom. You have a higher wisdom. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Just a flat um, wisdom check, or can I use my background? You, you can use your background for trying to piece together puzzles, ciphers, things like that. Can I try and help? Um, sure. What, can I use what? my architecture oh. aficionado background of like looking at objects and stuff? Okay. Wow! Wow, you sound. <laughs> All 
Right. You are... As Kelly is looking at it, she's like, I think it's a puzzle. Dame's like, oh yeah, move this over there, replace these numbers. This is a cipher. He hid a treasure somewhere in this level. I think I can find it. Well, it might be worth going for. Okay. Well, where, where do I think it is? You think he hid it in the footpaths of here. In the dungeon. No, no, not in it. Just by it. Like, mm. by the entrance. Okay. Well? What did we think? I mean, that treasure might be able to help us. Why don't we split up? Part of us looks for the treasure. Part of us goes to one. Save time. Yeah, and make us all very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. That feels like a Have bad idea. Have we even actually reached for exploration wise? I'm sorry? Have we even, have we like actually reached four? Like... No, you're like halfway there. You're, yeah. pretty, you're equidistant from four and three right now. Oh. Yeah, if we are, we're going to do any splitting up, we should split up between four and three. Then... Yeah, I just say continue on to four then. If we're not even, if that's not even four. Yeah, still, it's a treasure. It could be worthwhile. There's no indication of, like, what the treasure might be. Oh. We're not here to find buried treasure. We've been in so many hard struggles, though, that we might need that edge. Yeah, that's the thing, is if it's an edge. This is this is all stuff in here that makes the stone thief powerful. Theoretically. We don't Theoretically. Alright, well, you know where I stand, but if you, we want to go check it out. I don't know, I'm good either way. Talia, what do you think? I... I don't... I, I really don't care either way. Let's just move on the four, then. Alright, you pocket the notes and continue on to four. Um, the Geomantic Tower. The exterior walls of the tower are covered with magical symbols. Uh... You can do another wisdom or int check to see, uh, figure out what these patterns mean. Um, sure. Fine. I kind of want to try an int check. Yeah, uh, Kalia's intelligence is not very high, so. Go go for it, Leanne. Uh, yeah. Misty, small, small, yeah, all right. Eh, eh, do I, why, why do I bother rolling ever? I'll take a look at it, too, then. All right. You two compare notes. And although you weren't either successful by yourselves, you're pretty sure that the tower is attempting to map out all of the energies of these buildings into one cohesive map of power. A map of power? Yeah, you're pretty sure it's hard to tell, but something about the flow of power as these these buildings are carefully placed in relation to each other. Uh, this is a feng shui tower. This is the stone thief's personal zen garden, okay? Okay. So if we mess it up, we can mess up the power flow. Maybe. But what could we do to, uh... Handle it? Knock something over. Um, can we, uh, look inside the tower at all? Sure. Go ahead. And give me a... Wait, some more in check. 
Okay. As you take a look inside, you're like, huh, that's a trap. And it triggers against you. Of course it does. That is against your MD. That hits. Yep. Um, you have four uh, relationship points with uh, various icons. So I have five. Oh, you yeah. Have five. I have five total, but one of yeah. them is negative with the Elf Queen. All right, so that is 5d10 damage as your mind is seared with psychic damage. You know, the further we get, the more I'm thinking that the Stone Thief was not prepared for anyone who was uh, allied with the Orc Lord that invaded them. Yeah, no, can you imagine? <laughs> Just showing up here on like some sort of freedom crusade for all or kind. <laughs> <laughs> Just breeze past these lower levels. Uh, so yeah, you take thirty-four damage. Yeah, I had already already applied. All right. As the dame is like nursing a headache, you can either continue on inside or give this place a pass. Well, I mean, we already blew one trap in our face. We we might as well go deeper. I just wanted to look around, like... This could theoretically weaken the Stone Thief for a final confrontation. Or at the least, it'll make them angry with us. And that's its own reward. That's already done, but yeah, let's keep doing that. Sure, alright, let's go keep looking. Someone else can go first. All right, who's going first? I you sounded way me. too happy about that. I'll take, I'll take the point. All right, Lan ventures forth. In the first room is a smaller um, batch of thirteen panels, identical to the ones you were guided through in the history of the cult in the Pilgrim's Gate. In front of the pictograms is a old and rustic chest. Alright, I hear you. I want to use my knife on the chest. Alright, you open a small hole in the chest and look inside. There are the telltale shattered remains of earth spears that were used. I mean, does that give us any value? Can we, like, mend them, or...? You could try to fix them up, but you didn't do that work yourself. You had your workers do it. If you were to bring it back to them, certainly they could make, fix them up real quick, but you don't exactly have that time now. Well, But it does uh... seem that the cult used these earth spheres themselves in order to control the stone thief. Hmm. All right, so is that... Uh, well, I don't see any reason in taking these. It's do or die here, so... Yeah. I don't want to huck around... I don't want to carry around broken spears. Yeah. But it's interesting that the Stone Thief felt like saving them. Is that all that's in here? In this room, yes. You climb up to the second floor, being very cautious and careful. Half buried in rubble from the collapsed fourth level, oh, sorry, third level, is a casket. There are three crystal vials of a pure black liquid, softly bubbling even though they're sealed. One of them is only two-thirds full. Oh. Uh, is this, um... Okay, we have the list of what we need to kill the stone thief. Uh, where is that? You already made that weapon. Yeah, no, but where's the list? Let's find it. A weapon to kill a thief. Yeah, uh, is this, is this Koru Behemoth Icor? It is not. Okay. Okay. 
would have been neat, though. Think of the war if it was. Yeah, right. Is there anything neat about this casket? Nope, it just seems like it holds these vials. And we have no idea what... Do we have any idea what they are or how we might find out what they are? Uh, you could make um, wisdom working checks. I... You know what? Being a cook is like potion making. It is like potion making. Um, you're pretty sure it's something about communicating. And Lucian's pretty sure it's something that puts you to sleep. And you recall hmm. from your venture across the Dream Bridge that the great masters of the cult communicate in via dreams. Oh, right. It's a guess, but you think these would let you talk to the great masters. Alright. I, hmm. I think we take a vial, but don't drink it now. I mean, there's no harm in having one just in case. Well, we just it, take all three. It's a vial. Yeah, I guess. You got a point. Why are we being courteous to the stone thief? <laughs> yeah, let's just take take the stuff. Yeah, okay. Alright, well. Uh, I think we should go ahead. be getting going. You're like, alright. That, outside of that, like, it, there's, you know, it looks like the collapse level was a place meant to study and draw more maps but it doesn't really give you any insight into what you could do short of destroying these buildings to mess up this area okay um could we deposit something deposit. Like, could we leave some like could we leave something here to disrupt the flow of power uh not if you are that kind of wizard okay if you knew ritual magic, probably. Do clerics not know ritual magic in 13th age? They do not. Ah. Not by default, I don't think, anyway. Right. Uh, doesn't... Leanne doesn't know anything. Well, would, I... would the portals do it? No. And, uh... Okay. She would not be comfortable leaving open a portal to begin with, anyway. Well, no, no, no. Well, like, if we could leave... I... My thought was to leave a portal basically reflecting the power around in such a way that it messes things up, but it only takes you around in this room. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't have anything. I have a tavern sign. You know, yeah, where is the nearest tavern? Oddly, yeah, where is the nearest? Oddly enough. That's actually not that surprising. Wait, I didn't hear it. It's uh, it's in it's the in big the... mountain. Oh, okay. Yeah, that checks out. Um, All right. as Kalia is wa like just like kicking random things like pebbles down the stairs, something doesn't give way, and she's like, "Ow!" It's a trap door on the main level. Give that a yank. What's the harm in opening up? They shoot more psychic energy at us? Yeah. You know. Whatever. That's no yeah, big deal. It. Let's go. You brace yourself. And nothing happens. You feel like a small bit of, electric, of, of magic go through you. But you're not an initiator of the cult, so the trap doesn't spring. Oh, we're not initiates. <gasps> Okay, okay. You only know that because you were just being scanned in that same part of your soul by the Sentinel moments ago. So this was made opposite of the... This seems definitely worth exploring, then. Yeah, absolutely. Well, down the end goes. Yep. 
dame's right behind her. The trap door leads to a room. Up there, there's there's like a bit of rubble in there, and there is um a grand tomb. There on the plaque in the old common reads. Here lies the resting place of the first master, he who founded the cult of the devourers and first of the secret masters. He will be the head of the devourer when the dungeon becomes a god. Hmm. Why was this spelled against the cult? A There's... rock hits the back of the dame's head as she asks this out loud. And there, crouched on a rock nearby, is this gangly old man wearing nothing but a loincloth with a beard down to his knees. Get out of here! Go! Go! No cult! Get out! No, we're, we're not, not cult! We're not, not. We, we are not the cult! The rock. No, not cult! Cult bad! He throws another rock. Do we... What? We don't say the word? Ow! Who, no, who, who are, are you? you? Who are you? He, Dame Kiri Jade Spine, who has, are you? He has, Jade Spine. Jade Spine? Uh, eh? Who are the rest of you? Leanne Lawrence. Let's just like Serrator. What friend. now? Kazoon type. Uh, you know, I'm Lawyer. not supposed to Jade Spine. Jade Spine? What two of you? Jade's fine. I'll throw rocks at all of you. Don't don't we, think I won't. Listen, we are opposing what they're attempting to do here. What are they trying to do here? They're trying I, to get me. That's what they are. His nails are incredibly long. Why are they trying to get you? They've been eating. Don't ask that question down here. We never like the answer. Because it's usually Rocks. people. Trees. <laughs> Tendrils? Bitter wood. Bitter wood? No. Clay bricks? No. Bones. Bones, yes. Bones break you. No, wait. Who are you? Who, who are you? He points at Lucian. Just Lucian. What's your last name? <laughs> we don't need to talk about it. Stupid. He throws a rock at you. Whatever it is, it's stupid. Well, if you'd like, once this is all said and done, I can come back with the official Empire Records for his name. Ugh. I used to rule the yeah, Empire fair. once. You ruled the Empire? When, when was that? First age. Yeah? First age? Yeah. What's your name? He just stares at you. Mmm, granite shells. No, wait. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, name. I don't know. Why are they trying to get you? Ah, uh, they hate. Um, uh, they hate me. Uh, I. Hmm. I told them to leave my area. Yes. They had to leave okay. this. And he gestures around. Okay. Uh, magic. We magicked them away, and they got who's, angry. Who's we? Just you, or no, do you no, have I friends? Had, I had friends. I wore clothes. I didn't eat rocks back then. I didn't eat rocks. Uh, Were you a jade spine? No, no, no. I was the emperor. Right, sorry. Yeah. No. You know, back in the first age, did you guys just call it age? We're, it you know, was... Were you really challenging <laughs> at that point? <laughs> we, was it, it was the second age that it, it started counting? It was the age of freedom. We we had broken free of uh, this the man with no hand. Are you just asking for it to to fall apart if you call it stupid? An age? He throws a rocket. <laughs> <laughs> Every age comes to an end and brings about a new age. Yeah. Yeah, I've survived. Uh, he looks back at a wall. Thirteen ages. 
How do you keep track of the H's down here? There's a... They're very loud. Yeah, that would make sense. Also, you haven't survived the 13th yet. Still in it, bud. Oh, is that Lucian? We really but. need to talk about your manners. <laughs> I, that was just something I was curious. When are you ever going to talk to somebody from the first age to ask them that question? Okay, yeah. Lucian is question. still like Lucian is full of that like overly curious seven-year-old energy. Well, asking if you called it the age—that's one thing. Saying you haven't survived the thirteenth age yet—that's a threat. Oh, that's also true. Uh, he climbs down, and as he gets closer, you realize he's huge. He's the size of an ogre. His Wait, so what are the rocks he's throwing? <laughs> They're actually fairly sizable rocks. Uh, <laughs> you're lucky I haven't made you roll damage from them. Um, his teeth and nails are sharp and, like, stone hard. And his beard is made of steel wire. He really is eating rocks. Do you... He picks you... up one and just crunches through it as if it's, like, bread. Oh. Mm, good mother. Um, so, do you like the stone thief, then? Do you, do you like oh. living here? No. It, 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 uh, I think about what it eats. I eat things. It eat buildings? I eat buildings. Um... Oh, there's a weird tower we want to eat. Blue, blue tower. We want to eat the blue tower. Uh, oh no, that's not good. Where is the blue tower? Uh, that way. And he just points. Do you know how close? Is... No, we're we're far. We're we're under hot, hot yellow rock. Uh, but there's like candy here. Yeah, candy. I remember. Yeah, candy. My, but the candy has like the candy. The, the candy the was sharp candy. on the inside. It was, oh, it was bad candy. What? It was a trap. You trapped. You trapped us, and you start pointing at you guys. We trapped the stone thief, not you. Uh, what do you want? I want to show my sigil of the Empire to him. Oh. Do you recognize this? Yeah. Yeah. The Empire. Yeah. They haven't redesigned their sigil in 13 ages. Uh, not... Look, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It broke 12 times already. It... Not the Empire. The Empire itself has... It... That's just not the calendar. Not every age has a new Empire. Listen, I'll be very blunt on this matter. We're going to attempt to kill the stone thief. Oh, 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 follow me, follow me. And he starts scrabbling down through the rubble. He opens another trapdoor to a lower level and passes by a skeleton of an adventurer who had been thrown down the shaft at one point. Um, and was, is currently stuck to the side. He just climbs right past his skeleton. He's like, come on, come on. Well, okay. He's unhinged, but surprisingly friendly. He's bonded with the stone thief. Yeah, this mm -hmm. could be a trap. As you're staring at a dead adventurer. Um. Do we get an adventure sense of Oh, what level this guy is? Uh, he is stronger. He's incredibly strong, actually. Yeah, no, we don't want to fight him. He eats um, rock for breakfast. And dinner. <laughs> um, he throws four attacks at 30 damage each. He has 650 health. And he's fully statted.
All right, let's. But he doesn't have a name. I'm willing to follow him. Yeah, I'm willing to follow him. Yeah, me too. He clearly said he doesn't have a name. We're safe. <laughs> you drop into the lower cellar where there is bones knee deep. He is waiting for you. He's like, I come on. This is where he gets those bones he eats. What do the bones taste like? Just curious. Chicken. Don't. Lucian, don't. What? I've only had milk bones. Just curious. He goes to the end and this massive, massive just stone coffin, like the kind that the people um, uh, when you did the Demon Queen were in, that took ma your skill checks to open. He just, with one like hand, absolutely opens it as if it's nothing and pulls out it looks like an earth spear but it's bigger and looks more durable is it an earth sword no it's still an earth spear oh, okay. okay i made this long ago those cultists made imitations but this this one's mine you're the original creator of the Earth Spear, then. Yeah, I was tired. It kept, it kept squeezing. I didn't like it. So when you did that, it stopped squeezing. Yeah, you stab it. It stops. I got tired though. It just. Mm. After after it got in my head, I stopped doing that. Could we take it then? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, I can't. Of course. Oh, you can have sufficient permission to be the sheep. The first Earth Spear is a reliable and reusable Earth Spear. What a quirk. It's also plus three. He's like, yeah, you can, you can have, but mm, no, you must trade. You must do a task. I would like to use my Emperor Six. Okay. Uh, how do I want to work with this one? Lan, you have a script of paper given to you by the Emperor himself. That lets you command any loyal emperor man. That is true. If his yeah. story is true, it would work on him. Yeah, I'll give it that a shot. That would be hilarious. As a member of the Empire, I have these, this writ of authority granted to me by the Emperor himself of this age. Oh. Anyone who is loyal to the Empire and serving it must be follow must follow my commands given to them. Well, here you go. I'll take it. Thank you. You are very kind, and I am humbled to meet the originator of the Empire. I'm and glad you still stand it. From this day forward, your name is Ted. Remember That's... it. No. <laughs> Can I roll in, like my intelligence to see if I remember? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You would. You would know by the history what the name of the first emperor is. Let's go. What is it? It's Theodore, isn't it? <laughs> All right. What's his name? I get to choose. You get to choose. This is lore right here. Hunter, 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 Hunter. <laughs> no. His name is Miller. No. <laughs> Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Alright, we already had a Nathaniel. We did. Multiple this people can have the same name. 
he was named after the Emperor. Nathaniel. Nathaniel. Yes. Yes, I was Nathaniel, the first Emperor. Yes. He he gained, gained some clarity as he, like, says this. Yes. And this cult, we... Yes, they were undermining us. We exiled them. And they got angry. I would get angry if I was exiled. It was a hard choice you had to make. And then they set it up. I was eaten. They 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 teamed up with this dungeon, but I lived. My my men they kept me alive, but they've all died since then. And the best thing you can do is honor their sacrifice and get rid of this which has been threatening the Empire since your age. Yes. Yes. You will do this. Um, the Empire needs you. The world needs us. The Empire, the Dwarf King, the Elf Queen, every single one of them is relying on us to finish this. But I cannot go with you. My, my, even this very conversation, the stone thief knows. I would be, I could not help you. I understand. All the aid you've given us is more than enough, though. Ah. Oh. Go ahead. And stone thief. Just know. This is an ending. Until I can't draw any more breath. The Empire would see it. No other way. Rocks? Oh. Oh, my brain is Not slipping working. again. We'll be taking our leave. One, you, she, he points at Kalia. You said you were a jade spy. Yeah. Yep. You're kind. They, I could not help them, but they were trapped there. And he points over at the giant thing. That is their mine. It is now a dungeon. Oh, good, good to know. Thank, thank you. Hear that, Dame? The Dame's just like absolutely still. Like, every, all of the Jade's mines were supposed to be dead. The mine was supposed to be completely lost. This is absolutely flooring. Now go, before I become a liability. Mm. Of course. Vines. Yes, I shall eat some vines next. Leanne bows and uh, starts leaving. The muttering disappears as you guys climb back up. Well, let's get moving. I know we agreed to keep moving towards the tower and the, the tree, but I'd like to go to the mine. If I could, I have the content prepped for the tree and not the mine yet. Okay. I mean, it you is... You dropped that and you didn't think to prep the mine? No. <laughs> it is also almost end of the session anyway. Yeah. yeah. I don't mind going to the mine. If it's important to the dame. Can we do both? Or is it one or the other? You can do both because you've just acquired a reusable earth spear that lets you essentially indefinitely extend your time down. Can I be stabbing as I walk? Are you, are you attuning <laughs> to the magic item as your melee weapon? So that you can gibber? I mean, it's a quirk. If it doesn't get overwhelmed, it's fine. If you make if that... How... Go ahead. Can I switch back after I'm done stabbing, stab, stab? Nope. It's a magic item, but you gotta commit. You would be using it as your melee weapon going forward, but you'd still have your bow as a reach one. No, 
that's 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 actually fine. hang on it's a spear Do you have a magical weapon, Dane? Oh, you're right. Um, no, I don't. I have a mundane weapon. Shorty's going crazy. Now, as a reminder, uh, it's not like... It, you still have to do hit the 25, but because it's reusable, and because the dame can hit a 25, like, there's really... I won't even ask for the roll, right? You'll just succeed. Yeah. Okay, how many magic items can we have before we're overwhelmed? Eight equal to your level. Okay, so I have, let's see, where's this bonus from? I just have a miscellaneous bonus, and I'm not sure where that's from. Plus. I have a miscellaneous bonus! I don't know why your AC plus one is up. I don't, it's off now. Yeah, you have space for it. Okay. Alright, yeah, I'll take the Earth Spear. Alright, you now have the Earth Spear. Go ahead and let's just verify, make a bait and basic melee attack. Okay. Good news, it's possible for you to hit 25 plus. Nice. With. You don't have to put as much effort in. You just kind of stab it into the center of the temple as right before you leave. And the submergence, there's a massive tremor and the stone thief cries out in pain and is now pinned in place. The submergence die is back down and reset. Oh, wait, actually one thing. That's not even a recharge. What? You don't even have like you don't even have to recharge that to stab it. That's nope. Nope, just stab, stab, stab. Also, while you are staggered, it does plus three d six extra damage. Excellent. Gonna have to consider if I want to recharge on that. Otherwise, it literally is just infinite time down the air. Um. All right, so you guys want to proceed towards the Dwarven uh, Mine and then call it session? Or do you want okay. to detour towards the temple and try to knock that out before end of session? Uh, do you think we can knock out the temple before end of session? It's role play, so I may be. I feel like the thing would more urgently want to go to the mine than... Yeah. That's fine. All right, you walk up to the tre lost treasury of the dwarves. Um, as you climb up the stairs to the entrance of the corridor, first of all, you s look behind a secret hidden wall, um, and you find 500 coins. They're like a weird greenish metal, and you're not, sh and they're not from any age that you know of. When you're back on the surface, you you can investigate like who might be interested in them or what. I want to fight the coin. Hmm. I want to fight the coin. How sturdy is it? It's pretty sturdy. It also tastes a little acidic. Hmm. All right. Good to know. Is it is it real gold? It is not. As you enter through a narrow passageway deeper into the stone, the in corridors of this inner dungeon are clearly dwarf wrought, judging by the perfect craftwork and the low ceilings. There is a keystone door, a huge stone block standing in the center of the room. Three short metal rods extend from opposite sides of the block and resemble handles for lifting the block. The block itself is unadorned except for these rods, but the walls of the chamber are carved with the likenesses of dwarf kings of old. Dwarven runes run beneath the carvings, warning intruders that to beware. Thieves and dragons stay out. Are the do I recognize this as these are like the entrance to the Jade Spine mine? Um Or is this from a different ruin? This 
It appears the stone thief has taken the basis of the Jade Spy Mine and like added other dwarven architecture and ruins and dungeons into it. Um, okay. You had a door like this, but this is a fancier version, but it, it still works the same. You have to each make a strength check, and if your all your scores together add up to 60 or more, you can haul the whole thing open. Okay. So let's go. You know, breaching doors, that's something Leon's always been good at. Uh-oh. Yeah, we're rolling high. Galia, roll your strength. Uh, can I use background? Yes. It, with their combined effort, you haul the door up and it locks in place, and the rest of the entrance is open for you, and that's what we will explore next session. So we'll go back to the landing page. All right. Rumham, what's something you liked? What's something or someone you want to see again? And how did you like the Age of Wonders? The uh, Hall of Wonders? The Pit of Undigested Ages. Uh, the pit of undigested ages and what I liked kind of go together. Uh, I thought it was cool to get some background into like some of the world building stuff that we did in the past. Um, it kind of you know fleshes out the world, which is cool. Um, I'm curious about what all this jade spine stuff is. Um, that would be interesting. And uh. I really hope that we never have to fight Galio ever again. I'm never going mid ever again. That's fair. That's fair. Sometimes they're in Galio top. Yeah. Yeah, usually usually Kalia runs bottom. It was you know, it was her mistake for rushing mid this time. Yeah. Yeah, normally she's a support. Yeah. But she decided to try mid. Yeah. Callie is not an ADC. Alright, alright. Ellen? Um, let's see. I was not expecting there to be jade spine stuff down here. Um, I like I like that. I like uh, getting some more closure on all of that. I liked I liked the first emperor. I thought he was interesting. Um, didn't didn't really like the fight though. That was uh that was rough. Oh, that was like, yeah. that was close. It was real close. Right, pal. Uh, one, I feel like it's been a while since I've used like one of my icon relationships specifically for narrative purposes. Yeah, it feels like because a lot of the time, either I want to handle it myself, or B, I just don't feel like it's worth using an icon on. So it was nice to have a little situation like this. Yeah. Uh, two, I enjoyed just completely skipping over what I assume was a puzzle with my knife. Yeah, I guess you'll never know. There was a trap, but you avoided it. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> and three, <coughs> uh, the fight was pretty neat. Uh, unfortunately, all of us were rolling horribly. Oh, so bad. That fight got as rough as it did because none of us were rolling very well. Yeah, I might have said this out loud last week, that I, but I at least said it to Ellen that I'm like, this is either going to be a really easy fight or really hard. I have no way, based on if you guys would you know, roll at that 50 or above. He didn't tell me the 50 or above, he just said the right. easier hard bits. Because like, if you guys huh. could consistently hit above 50, it's that it's essentially a nothing mechanic. Yeah. But, you know, we didn't. Yep. And we didn't get to have any trip damage from our miss damage until later on. Yep. 
Oh God, you, you don't appreciate how nice that is until you lose it. Yeah, and on top of that, uh, the first emperor. Really nice surprise. Um, that all I have to say. Max had to step away, but he thought the fight was interesting as well. Uh, yeah, no, um, actually, by the book, the first emperor is also the first master of the uh, cult, and I don't understand why. Maybe I missed a section of the book that explains that relationship. I exiled a cult. I am leader of cult. Yeah, um, not sure, actually. Well, was he the one who exiled it, or was it the Lich King? Well, the, the, sorry, the Archmage. The Archmage. Uh, you know, good questions. I, I, I gotta say, this book is massive. I haven't read all of it. But if what? the Lich King was the one who did the exile, though, why would the Empire, why would the Emperor support it if he was the leader of the cult? Because then the cult wouldn't be an issue if he's the leader. Because it would have been a coup. It could have been a coup to remove him from power. Yeah, I feel like there could be a coup anywhere. I don't know, I'm sure the answer is somewhere in here, um, but I didn't like that story anyway, so I swapped it a bit. And also I thought it'd be really interesting to have Leanne to have that really interesting use of her script. Um, in the book, you yeah. can also, you fight the first master and then you behead him and his head stays alive so long as the stone feet does. Oh, that's very Norse. To be fair, yeah. the item you get, that Earth Spear, is an incredible item to get. Oh, it's a very that, tough boss fight. That is incredible. Yeah, that's a really good item. Given that you didn't have to fight a boss fight for it, um, I think I'm going to make that a daily to reduce by three. Which I completely... Let me look at your Make it like a hard recharge or something okay. instead. Because it's supposed to be reusable. Daily doesn't... Like, it's technically reusable if it's a daily, but... Oh, actually, yeah. Looking at this, after you guys get done with this dungeon, you will get a full rest, by the way. Okay, okay. good. I was wondering, because I was like, having a final fight with a stone thief on this low of resources... That would suck. Nope. Nope. Uh, you'll do this dungeon, and then you'll go talk to the temple people, of uh, this with the, the from the guy uh, under the high wildwood. Um, then you'll proceed to the next level, do a little bit more fighting through that level, get to the stone thief, slay him. Okay. Party. Party. Then kill the great ghoul. Then kill the great ghoul, and the campaign's over. Did we get an incremental, by the way? Get an incremental. Dippy ki yay. Okie dokie, I will see you all next week as we explored the Jade's Fine Mine. Bye.